I've got games, so many games, I don't know what to do with all these games. And if you just want to chat, let's talk in bits and bites, cause I'm down like that. When I'm at the Goodwills, or when I'm checking Craigslist, all I'm thinking about is my NES. It's just something I do, it's like the passing the time. Without further ado, let's end this rhyme. Hey everyone, it's me, Justin, and I'm on my lunch break, and I'm gonna go to some thrift stores, so come on! There it is. It's gonna suck. Sucks bad. I don't even know why I come to this one. It's never anything here. Waste! Alright, well, I'm headed up the road to the Atlanta Mission. It's another thrift store, and they're gonna have nothing but sports and hunting games, I'm sure. You get a better look at Hippo Hop. My senses indicate crap. All right, well, we had some camera problems, so hopefully it's recording and hopefully I can get through it without throwing it against the wall. This is take two, action. Okay, so I just got back from Pendergrass a little while ago. Unfortunately, my camera, you, uh, you didn't want to work. You froze on me. No way of resetting you, so you just did it to me again, but now hopefully you're working. So anyway, I went up to Pentagrass, saw the fat guy, you can't miss this guy, he is fat. Fat. Anyways, he, uh, you know, he always gets new stock in, was talking to him for a little bit, said, you know, he's telling me what he got in, and immediately he tells me he gets... Zelda, A Link to the Past, and he wants $50 for it. $50. Immediately, I see a game. I've already gotten from him before. But I see it again, I have to get it. It's only $3. Ninja Gaiden 2! The Dark Sword of Chahos. Chahos. Uh, fun game, if you like the Ninja Gaiden, uh, Nintendo games, they're very challenging. This one has a lot of uh, environmental hazards, a lot of stages where it goes black, or the wind, or whatever. So if you thought the first one was hard, the second one's just about, if not harder. And the third one, whenever I find it, I will find it, is Unforgiven. Then also got another game by Tecmo, and that is World Wrestling. Oh yeah, brother man. Have you ever heard of or seen uh, Mr. Muscle? Uh, Muscle Men? Anyone? Anyone? Muscle Men? 80s, early 90s, I think? Yeah. The little flesh colored guys that came in trash cans and they were about yay big to play with them. He had a lot of box games and he had those out there with the regular games, so. He does a special buy three, you know, three for ten dollars, and that was even on box Nintendo games, so I picked up. Top Goon! Highway to the danger zone, the danger zone. It was fun, you know, I have it already. A lot of these games I already have. Well, this one I have, but it's loose. So whenever you can find them in the box, even though it's a little vented, pick them up. Three bucks, totally worth it. I got the second one in box, now I have this one in box. And to try to land that thing on that freaking aircraft carrier or even refuel mid-flight is freaking impossible. I picked up also, I have no idea what this game is, I think it's gonna suck, but it's boxed, it's a Nintendo game. Destination Earth Star. 
looks like a intergalactic fart fest. Uh, I don't even know. It's supposed to be arcade style. Does that look arcade style? I think that looks arcade style. Everything else doesn't. It looks like just too much math and shit. The last other one I got, he wanted... Uh, he had told me that he had it. I already had it. <clears throat> so I wasn't sure, you know. Said he came complete. If you've ever played Nintendo or know anything about Nintendo games, you've probably heard of Star Tropics. Uh, fun game. You like to do problem solving and explore. And, uh, you know, kind of reminds me a little bit of maybe Final Fantasy with the whole Earth overview. And you travel and try to find your uncle, the scientist, and he went missing. And, um, Fox is in pretty decent condition. I mean, it's... He said it had everything. I opened it, like, a minute ago, and he said it came with a map. I don't ever remember this coming with a map, but... Alright. It comes with the game. Instruction booklet. Nintendo Power. A, uh, poster. And a letter from my Uncle Steve. Which, I guess, came with, you know, Star Tropics when they bought it. Um, and it says, otherwise, I like to caution, do not taste, eat, or otherwise consume this paper. Uh, and it says that it's very... save it to the end of the game, but it looks like... God. If you can hold it up to the light, it reacts to the heat from the lamp. Mike, I found some strange ciphers in my last voyage. Since then, someone has been watching me. A tiny transmitter in my shoe. Its frequency is 747 megahertz. Perhaps I worry too much, but... It's better to be safe than sorry. Sincerely, Uncle Steve. I'm coming for you, Steve. Because you're my uncle. Well, that was it for Nintendo. What I did pick up uh, for the Genesis, because I am a sucker for Genesis games too, this one did not come complete, but... Uh, I don't really care that much. Arrow the Acrobat. Uh, you're a vampire bat who works for the circus, and it's a platformer. Reminds me of, uh, what is it, Rocket Knight Adventures, where you are a possum wearing armor and a sword and a jetpack, and you go and kill pigs. You go and kill pigs as a possum wearing armor and a jetpack. You're an acrobatic vampire bat who is getting shot out of a cannon, and it's by Sunsoft. I don't even know what to say. Last game I picked up was for Super Nintendo. Literally just bought this game. Well, I didn't buy it, but it came in that lot of 17 games that I got from Goodwill with Super Nintendo. And that game is none other than Act Razor. God, fun game. It's a mix of uh, overview, kind of like SimCity, uh, 2D platformer. You know, so you get your, your old school platforming on, and you pretty much just go around and try to save towns, and then you go kill monsters in the 2D platforming. Mode 7? It's Act Razor. It's by Enix. So, you put Squaresoft, you put them together with Enix, you get gold. Alright. Star Trek. The game. Live long and prosper. Damn it, Tim. I will find someone to buy this game. I've paid four dollars. It goes for ten to twenty dollars online. Wait at Star Trek. It's only gonna go up and down. Nano Nano. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm working on a deal right now to 
make an entire video out of on this one thing I'm trying on Craigslist. I got the guy interested in a trade uh, for a system that was never released. Well, it was released, but just never in the United States. It's Japan's version of a system that we have here in the States. But it also comes with a disk drive. So, think about it. Think about it. Um, stay tuned. Hopefully I can secure it. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.